And the state board of elections, we want to be clear, has voted against a petition to allow election officials to conduct signature verification for absentee ballots. The vote was three to two along party lines. WRL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie is live at the state election board where that vote was taken within the hour. Laura. Renee, the state Republican Party had asked the board to rule that all county boards of elections would be authorized to to do signature, cross-checking of signatures, I should say, on mail-in ballots. <clears throat> they say that it's needed to prevent voter fraud, although, to be clear, there's no evidence of any type of uh, that sort of voter fraud that would have affected the outcome of any election. Uh, the state law currently requires voters to sign voter registration forms, absentee ballot requests, and mail-in ballot return envelopes, but it does not require election officials to compare those signatures to each other. Uh, the state board has instructed county boards not to compare them because of the subjectivity involved in matching signatures. Studies in other states, states have shown that older and minority voters are disproportionately likely to have their ballots rejected due to signature matching, and those rejections vary widely county by county. A complaint filed by the state Republican Party said election officials cannot confidently say that all valid votes have been counted if they can't match the signatures. Republican board member Tommy Tucker said 20 county boards have already said they'll be ready to start doing checks at any time and any tool available to the county boards that verifies and makes fair and trusting uh, results for our election is what I want. Um, you know, the opportunity and the uh, lack of accountability through the absentee ballot process lends itself to the opportunity to cheat. We are tasked primarily through um, state board staff, the executive director and others to work to ensure the uniform administration of elections, including the absentee by mail options for voters across all 100 counties. To do otherwise clearly raises at a minimum equal protection and due process issues for voters. Now, Stella Anderson and other Democrats on the board said it wouldn't be fair to have some counties matching and others not, and it could lead to valid votes being disqualified. They said the current process is already very secure and that matching is also problematic because when voters request an absentee ballot online, they have to use their finger to replicate their signature or mouse to replicate their signature on screen. Uh, the board instead ruled that county boards do not have the authority to do matching signature verification. That vote also came down on part Party lines with three Democrats in favor and two Republicans against. Renee? Laura Leslie reporting live in Raleigh. Laura, thanks.